What's going on guys? This is Jim from Locality Boss. Welcome back to another video on my channel. In today's video, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a different perspective. I thought I'd do some like a vlog type of thing, just going through my daily maintenance and chores. I uh, just sprayed most of the enclosures, as you can see, uh, raise up that humidity. And that's what I do pretty much every other day, just to get it all the way up where I want it to. This is gonna go probably to about 90% or close to 90%. And yeah, those are my Bolivians. Two of my Bolivians here, as you can see. Two males together here. And as you can see right here, I've also added this sliding door where they can actually go into the next enclosure, so all the way from this big one here they can go all the way over there and then just be here and those are six foot cages so for reference this is definitely loads of space for them to roam around and i have the female on this side and then i have the males on this side and hopefully i'll breed these guys in the future but yeah i love bolivians i have two pairs uh two bloodlines of bolivians currently uh, those are my Barry Miller bloodline. Those are the 2021s. Um, and then I have the 2022 silverbacks as well. But yeah, I love these guys. This is the, the very speckled male that I put on here. He's in shed right now, but it's not focusing now. He's in shed, but as you can see, so speckled, very speckled and peak saddles, nice contrast very beautiful animal you can see my cages the setup i went over it before it's pretty straightforward nothing fancy just this elevated shelf and these animals love to use it as you can see this there's the spot where this female is always laying underneath the hot spot i actually put the probe about like 10 centimeters or so above the shelf so that the animals don't cover the the heat probe because if it's covered it's not accurate and it can continue to heat up so it's very important to just put it up a little bit it's also flexible i can open this piece up and then move it wherever i want it to but this is pretty much how i keep those and same thing here again there's the uh the sliding door right here and then there's the male on this side nice female Peruvian, she's hungry. Those are the uh, North Brazilians that I showed you in the last video. Beautiful animals still together. Just leave them alone. Don't bother them. Just change water and just leave them so they can <coughs> have their privacy. And I wanted to show you guys one animal. I always gotta grab this. Here, this is my beautiful Argentine male. Beautiful animal. Look at the contrast. This is a 2021 Argentine. It's got loads of white, and this contrast is just so crazy. Love this guy. Just wanted to show you because they're all the way up here. I, I usually don't take pictures of them too much, but yeah. this guy is just perfect. Perfect Argentine. And you can see it's the pair. And yeah, again, I have the, the connected uh, sliding glass here. I have the female on the other side. Argentines tend to be pretty big. Mine are slow growing for sure. But nonetheless, I had to have a pair of Argentines because they are definitely one of the nicest localities. And this one is my Pearl Island or Saboge Boa. Boom. Look at her. Beautiful snake. Beautiful snake. They're so underrated so underrated look at this look at this 
unmatched, unmatched. I'm still looking for a male. I keep checking online and all that stuff, but locally there's none available. I hope that my friend Udo, who produced this beautiful female back in 2021, is gonna have another litter at some point, but at the moment I'm still on a look. So if anyone here, preferably in Europe, has any sabogues, pure sabogues, no taboges or anything like that, nothing. Just the real deal, please. Real sabogue, Pearl Island boss. Beautiful animals. They have this crazy, okay, this reflection is tense, okay. Very beautiful, orange on the tail. They come off the coast of Panama. Kind of hard to see here, small island complex called the Pearl Islands or Saboge Islands or Pearl Islands, which include the Saboge Island, which is one island where these guys are from. Here in Germany, we had another uh, import way back uh, where a guy brought in some balls that were labeled ball constrictor Saboge. They are concluded in the, included in the subspecies Saboge but they're actually from the Toboge Island, which is another small island. So they aren't the same and I wouldn't breed the Saboge Island to the Toboge. Tobogues are also nice, don't get me wrong, but that's not what I'm working with. I work with these beautiful Saboges and they are very hard to find. So eventually we will get some, but as of now, I'm looking. So what I do on my daily maintenance is I check for each and every animal. Is it behaving normally? Is the water fresh? Did it poop? Did it pee? All that type of stuff. Uh, and then I just do some maintenance, just clean up on the spots and all that. And then I have days where I clean up everything, where I change the water bowls, which is usually around twice a week. And that's just kind of how I do it. I don't have a set date. So if something's dirty, I clean it. Because I always want to come into my room and don't have that much of a mess and just clean everything and be here for hours. So I do everything every day. And then, you know, some things like water changes, cleaning the glasses, um, the windows of the enclosures or doing any type of, you know, uh, more, more maintenance. I will definitely uh, do that on a separate day. But yeah, what else there to show you guys? I wanted to show you the, uh, so the silver bags real quick. So I have one male in here, as you can see. They've grown, they're slow growers, but they've grown a little bit, as you can see. Hope the camera focuses. Let me see if I can focus, yeah. So it's a little bit dark in here. The light is not that good, but that's one of my silverback males. Beautiful animal. And then the other male, I believe, is here. Yes. Beautiful Bolivian. Silver bags. They're completely different. I showed you the other ones before. This is just another. They're almost whitish looking sometimes. If they're in the light phase, this guy might be in his lightest phase right now. But then they get dark and very cryptic and just very nice balls to work with. I love those little silver bags. And I also have a female, which is looking at me like she's also hungry. She's right here, let's see. She's chilling. Yes. Beautiful ball. Beautiful. And I noticed that the silverbacks, or at least the animals that I work with, don't have this extreme head pattern or head markings that you are usually seeing in the Bolivians. They're pretty much just clean and not really any spots on their head, but the color just may, gets me every time, like the very silver or this cryptic color in this picture you can see. This is the female um, when I first got her and she's, she's very nice. Sometimes she's very dark. Um, sometimes she's very light and this is just what I like. If you observe your animals, you see these changes. They aren't just one color. You have days where they are like the strongest red, for example, in the true red tails. And then you have days where they're a little bit darker 
and then they develop these secondary markings sometimes just in their almost adult age so i have some animals that developed spots or some spots got dark and dark and darker so you can only see them when they're like three to four years old and this is very nice i love that about the balls about the hobby that you have so many things consistently changing if you just pay attention so i don't need like hundreds and hundreds of animals to you know get me excited i'm always getting excited about my my own animals my small collection just a few uh localities that i enjoy to keep and work with and so just a little vlog from my day-to-day uh, -day life or day-to-day -day chores i would say and yeah i hope this video is entertaining to you and i hope to see you on the next video if you don't want to miss the next video please subscribe to my channel turn on the bell leave a comment leave a like share the video follow me on my socials instagram i'll link everything below thank you very much see you on the next one